TAVR, or transcatheter aortic valve replacement, is an incredible leap forward for patients who have aortic stenosis um, as a, another treatment option for them. So the typical patient that is referred to us for TAVR will be an elderly patient over the age of 70, let's say. Certainly we see patients with aortic stenosis who are younger than that who have different reasons for having a blocked aortic valve. The aortic valve is the valve that leads away from the left ventricle, which is the body's main pumping chamber. It is the chamber of the heart that allows blood to be delivered to the body for all the needs that the body has. So usually over time in the elderly, in patients that have aortic stenosis, the valve calcifies, calcium builds up, and the valve is no longer able to open. The opening is restricted in such a way that it becomes tighter and tighter and tighter. So that over time, there's a narrowing of this valve such that patients become symptomatic. Primarily those symptoms are shortness of breath, chest pain, fatigue, and fainting or feeling the need to faint. Once we made a diagnosis, there is aortic valve stenosis or narrowing. The best treatment for that patient essentially is replacing the valve. There's no other real option. After 2011, TAVR or transcatheter heart valve was approved, which actually allows us to deliver a new heart valve through a catheter through a minimally invasive incision. The gold standard still is surgical aortic valve replacement in which a cardiac surgeon will open the chest, put the heart on standby on a machine. The act of putting a patient on the cardiopulmonary bypass machine is one of the very important attributes of open heart surgery, though it's also a very invasive part of open heart surgery. Transcatheter heart valve replacement does not need cardiopulmonary bypass in order for us to do the procedure. This is a less invasive procedure in which we deliver a new heart valve while the heart is beating. So who's a candidate for transcatheter heart valve in 2017? There's been a rapid expansion over the last five or six years. Currently, um, transcatheter heart valve is approved for three different types of patients. The first group are patients that have exceptional risk for surgical aortic valve replacement. The second group are patients who are felt to be high risk for surgical aortic valve replacement by the TAVR team. And then the third group are patients who are felt to be intermediate risk for surgical aortic valve replacement. All this has happened pretty quickly. In about uh, you know five or six years, we see now that transcatheter heart valve is as good as surgery in many different types of patients. And it well might be in the next two to three years, we'll see even a greater expansion of transcatheter heart valve to even lower risk patients. When you initially come in for your consultation, you'll meet with various members of the TAVR team. At some point, you will meet with everyone along the evaluation phase. You may meet with the interventional cardiologist, the valve specialist, the cardiac surgeon, and the nurse practitioner. One of the most important parts of our evaluation phase is the team meeting with the patient and their family members. It's very important that we remain connected with your primary care doctor and your cardiologist as well as any other specialist that may be a part of your care team. The benefit to having all these members on the TAVR team is we have a true interdisciplinary approach to looking at each patient. The TAVR procedure uh, currently takes place in the hybrid OR. So this is a very specialized environment it's a cardiac catheterization laboratory and an operating room all in one. So it has state-of-the-art imaging equipment and hemodynamic equipment that allows us to measure pressures as well as being a state-of-the-art fully functional operating room so that we're able to combine the skills of interventional cardiologists and cardiac surgeons, both of whom are working in an environment that they are very comfortable in. Once we find out that the patient is a candidate for a transcatheter aortic valve replacement, they go through the process to find out which approach we can take on those, that patient. 80% of the patients candidate through the artery in the groin to get the valve placed in their uh, aorta, and this is called transfemoral approach. However, about 20% of the patients, they're not candidate for it. Next step is going through the valve, through the small artery under the collarbone. The third way that we can get 
and place the valve is through a small incision in front of the chest, the upper sternum, and the valve is placed through the aorta directly. When a patient is prepared for transcatheter heart valve, they'll arrive the day of their procedure to our preoperative area. The procedure generally lasts for about two hours, and during that time, we take care of every important step that includes the valve deployment and any other medical issue that needs to be dealt with during that operation. At the completion of the procedure at two hours, the patient is then transferred back either to the post-anesthesia care unit for recovery for about four hours, and then from the post-anesthesia care unit, we'll then go to our specialized cardiac floor where they'll recover further. Recovery for most of our patients is about two days after the operation and most are discharged to home. After a patient goes home for transcatheter heart valve, we typically see patients recovering and getting back to their standard functional capacity in about two to three weeks. Developing our transcatheter heart valve program or our TAVR program, we developed it understanding that it's not a procedure but a program. It's a team approach from the beginning in the procedure a discharge, and then after recovery. We feel truly fortunate at Tufts Medical Center to be able to offer this transformative technology. Um, within our program, we really pride ourselves on our compassion for our patients and their family, but also keeping close attention to detail. We care about each and every one of our patients as an individual, and it's very important to us that they feel comfortable with each step of the process.